It's an experience that changed this young veteran's life forever. Surviving an attack, nearly 20% of her body burned. Little did she know that experience would change her ultimate professional path. As CBS North Carolina's Michael Highland reports, she's now hoping to help others just like herself. But we want to warn you, some of the images you're about to see are graphic. Okay, good. Henry Jenkins is relearning some basic things. I got this. Good job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Part of his right leg was recently amputated. Losing a limb is, is something else to me. I mean, I, I cry for about, I cry for about a day. But he's not alone in his recovery. Yeah. Oyoana Allende is wrapping up her schoolwork at UNC to become an occupational therapist, spending the last 12 weeks working here at Duke Regional. Her supervisor, Cheryl Moore, says she's impressed by how quickly she connects with people. They can just really feel that she really cares and that she's going to be there to help them every single day um, through the thick and the thin. That's partly because she knows what a struggle it can be to recover when in a matter of moments your life changes and the future is uncertain. Well, I remember, of course, feeling, being afraid and uh, feeling helpless. She was serving in the Marines in Iraq in 2005 when she survived an attack by a suicide bomber. 18% of my body was burned. It started a long, often challenging recovery. Surgeries, skin grafts, and like Henry, learning to do basic things again. Grab a spoon, hold a spoon. She remembers a moment during her own recovery when she saw the impact she could have on others. See? Yeah. You have to align those two. When you're independent, you don't really think about it, but when, um, when they are teaching you how to do it and when you see them do it, it's just it's incredible and it makes a huge difference. Now, she hopes to make a difference too. I'm really blessed, I guess. Like, I just really feel very, very lucky. In Durham, Michael Highland, CBS North Carolina.